stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on V81 Radio, Manila. Um, let us always remember that pride is a protest and that we won't stop fighting and we will make sure that no one let, uh, let um is left behind. So, um, I guess ang pinaka magandang trust talaga ng show nito is we wanted to feature, you know, more stories about the community. Um, it's all about representation, visibility because we want um, other people or the whole world to see us, to hear us, to feel us, okay, and so to love us. That's a big thing, no? Uh, hindi sila nahihiya na sabihin nila na LGBT sila despite running for public office kasi merong uh, concept or merong thinking na nako matatalo ako kapag nalaman nila na bakla ako because uh, that does not cater to the general public. So that's a very good thing kasi uh, coming out is uh, you know LGBT uh, do not come out just once. They come out several times in their life. Coming out is a um, a manifestation of courage. So that means na hindi ako nahihiya, natatakot kung ano man ako at nandito ako para pagsilbihan kayo ang mga mamamayan. So I think this is a good new this is good news no. So this is a toot. Sa pandemic. But so far, okay na naman and you know, you just have to pray and syempre ito yung time na where your faith will be tested. You have to be um, more trusting to God and everything. So it's hard but surviving as always. I didn't know na mayroon pala ako mga subscribers na mga party ng LGBT. Wow. And when I, when I came out, they told me, "Oh my gosh, me too." Ganon. Actually, uh, ever since I came out until now, I get a lot of messages from Filipinos, Filipinas all over the world that they're telling me na we have the same story and they want to come out. It's hard um, asking for advice stuff like that so i'm really glad that in my own little way i can communicate personally with lgbt people who, uh, who are struggling of coming out and having a hard time coming out to their family their friends or whatnot and um syempre, it's you know a big responsibility on my part giving advice but then um, at the end of the day we we do so much that we can diba? at least makakatulong kahit pa paano and where Lyndon and I, my partner and I, are happy that we get to inspire a lot of LGBT couples. Um, they watch our story, our wedding, when we got married last December. And, you know, um, I'm, we're doing in our own little way to uh, not, put the message out there that we're here, we're present, and we're not going anywhere. We're going to fight for our rights until they say yes. Diba? So yeah. I think God gave me that burden to give me something better. Diba? He gave me anxiety disorder, but ang kapalit naman nun, freedom. And, nice. you know, yung happiness na hindi matatawara na you're out to your family. And I'm just so blessed na my parents are so accepting. Of course, hindi madali sa first, but now they're just so accepting and everything. So, I think that's God's way of, you know, telling you something. Then He's gonna give you something, akala mo burden, yun pala blessing in this guy siya, diba? Na parang, oh, yun pala yung pinaka point na ito yung wake up call na you have to come out parang um people will see in the real you eh you have to be authentic and mm-hmm. um everything yeah, follow creating content that will trend which parang, I don't wanna do naman kasi nga hindi ko nga siya personality like what I've said pero in my own little ways in my channel since I already have gained the subscribers I want it to be a platform to send um messages out um uh, about our community. So in our own little way, ganun yung ginagawa namin like yung wedding namin, how to get married here in the Philippines, ano yung process um, for LGBT couples, um sino yung pwedeng magkasal, saan pwedeng ikasal, yung mga ganung information. So even though it's not going to be millions of views, I'm happy na yung nanonood is yung nakaka-resonate sa content ko and talagang yung nakakatulong, nakaka-inspire ka kahit isa pa lang, kahit isa lang yung nanood na yan, then you've done your job once you hit them like if you inspire them or give them the information that they need it's a it says a lot about you being really an influencer because you're staying true to yourself and you are being authentic the the relationship is so blessed because i know you have a supportive partner and that's the beauty of i know no uh sometimes marriage is luck then eh? because minsan uh you're married to a person who's not into your ano, interest. There are people uh, who are married to some people. Eh. Pero, pero ang swerte mo, 
a very supportive show. Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila. We do like readings for friends or yung mga friends ng mga friends ko. And we take like two hours um, with a reading and life coaching. And when they tell you that they feel empowered after the talk, they feel like they're ready to take on the world again after the session. Parang sarap sa pakiramdam na you're influencing them in that way, hindi na yung true videos, but on a more personal level na talagang you're gonna give them advice, like talking one-on-one, parang ganon. Yes, ang pinaka importante lang na take away from the conversation kanina with Martha is that representation talaga is and visibility is important. Uh, well, ako sanay na sanay na ako sa bashers as in super sometimes I just don't mind them, pero meron talaga akong point na for example bagong gising sa umaga tapos mababasa ko yung mga bad na sinasabi nila, minsan sumasagot din kami. And kapag super below the belt na din talaga yung mga comments nila, um, talaga pinap- gusto ko ipatrack yung mga URL nila <laughs> para malaman nila na they can't just bash me because I'm a lesbian or because I'm part of the LGBT community. They can't threaten me or my life or they can't say I'm going to hell. Yung iba Meron kasi ganun, tayo, Martha? Ay, like what? Like what? Anong sinasabi? Ano yung pinaka-worst? Oo, I guess. Ano yung pinaka-worst? Ang pinaka-worst na nabasa ko, kaya daw may COVID dahil sa amin. Ha? Huh? Dahil daw sa atin. Dahil daw may, may mga lesbians and gays and whatever sa mundo. Kaya daw may COVID dahil pinaparusahan daw ni Lord ng mundo dahil daw sa atin. Yun yung oh pinaka Oh my God! Sa kanya! Huwag na siya! Huwag mo siya ang pansinin! <laughs> Tapos yun nga, yung cancel culture na parang just because they're not, uh, you are not aligned to what they believe in, they will cancel you out. And for me naman ah, my personal opinion is, they're free to go. You know, those people who wants to cancel me because they don't resonate with what I believe in, they're free to go. It means that, you know, as you vibrate higher in your life, you will really lose people along the way. And those people that you yeah. will lose, it means that they, you don't need them in your life because they will not help you vibrate higher. You just need yeah. people in your life who will respect you, who will love you, and who will accept you for wag na, wag natin pilitin ang mga ta- taong ayaw magstay sa atin. Oh! Yeah. Di ba? Wow. Paano ko isi-celebrate ang Pride Month? Actually, kasi dahil may asawa na ako, everyday Pride Month kami. What I always tell people when they have me question is just go for it. The first thing to do is start your YouTube channel. It's open for everybody. Um, make your account, make your channel, and of course, you have to think about what kind of content you want to put out there. Don't don't just join YouTube because ay balitaan ko ang laki ng pera sa YouTube, eh, kaya mag YouTube na rin ako, di ba? Para ganon. Um, don't think that way. For me, you have to think about how can I help the community by being a content creator. That's why I want to be a YouTuber. That's why I, that's why I want to be a content creator because I want to influence people um, and I want to put my content out there to, ch- to share information, to inspire, uh, to entertain. Diba iba kasi yan eh, diba? Anong mga ano. And yun nga, if you want to pursue to be a content creator, go for it. Start now, not tomorrow, but now if you really want it. And you feel like you have a calling for it, then go for it. Because parang kung hindi ka masisimula, kailan pa, de ba? Parang you're just gonna think about it, and then after a while, ay sayang sana nag start na pala ako. Parang ganon, de ba? Tell us in the comment. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know.